All right, guys, I'm coming to you with our day two update of the prospects that the 49ers have met with formally and informally, guys that I spoke to, and also some others here talking uh, 49ers specific meetings. And we're finding, we're finding some interesting trends. I would say that's one of the number one takeaways of today is that the San Francisco 49ers clearly have been uh, engaging and meeting with cornerbacks um, and, and safeties as well. Uh, this defensive secondary clearly is looking like a priority for the San Francisco 49ers. Now, I get it. A lot of 49er fans want offensive line. Who doesn't? Uh, but at the end of the day, man, there's more... There's more positions than just offensive line, and the San Francisco 49ers have 11 draft picks. So let's get into the, some of the guys that the 49ers have met with. Now, we've already covered uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry in a uh, previous video. You can check that out on the channel. But just in case you haven't seen it, the 49ers have had a formal meeting with Kool-Aid, uh, all-pro first team in regards to name. Um, amazing name, uh, an amazing player. Um, coming from Alabama, again, regarded as the, the top cornerback prospect um, uh, coming out of the high school ranks um, and has been a pretty solid cornerback with Alabama as well. So he's had a formal meeting with the San Francisco 49ers. Um, he's also been mocked to the 49ers a couple times uh, at 31. Um, so he's a name to keep an eye on. But like I said, it's clear that the 49ers have gone out and looked at cornerback. Another name that you can look into is Mississippi State cornerback DeCameron uh, Cam De Richardson. There we go. Um, he's an interesting cornerback, uh, good size, um, good length. Um, and again, he, he kind of, a lot of the cornerbacks that I talked to today are kind of in that 6'1", 6'2", range, kind of, kind of Mooney Ward build. Um, Guys that you think uh, could play outside corner um, and potentially uh, match up well uh, against your Puka Nakua's and your um, guys like that. I even spoke to um, one of the guys uh, who said, he's like, yeah, I, I actually played against Puka Nakua and uh, we, we had some battles. He got me on one, I got him on another. Um, so he felt like he matched up well. Um, this particular cornerback wasn't a guy that had a formal um, but had spoke to the 49ers at the Shrine Bowl. Um, so, uh, so a formal meeting for Mississippi State, DeCameron Richardson. Um, this is one that I am very intrigued by. And again, shout out to my guy, Justin, who again, he put me on to the uh, Mizzou cornerback Enos uh, Rakestraw Jr. Um, last year when we were looking at Isaiah McGuire coming out of Mizzou. Um, so that's another guy um, that uh, Justin had his eye on, and the 49ers have had a formal meeting with him as well. Um, I like talking to him, uh, uh, liked his uh, demeanor, kind of reminded me of Emmanuel Mosley a little bit, um, just kind of in demeanor and how they spoke and, and how they talked. Um, but you watch him on tape, he's again, he's again another kind of rangy corner, can play outside. Um, potentially be a, a nice number one for a team. Uh, a guy that I, did, I need to do a little bit more research on is Auburn defensive back DJ James. Uh, he's also a transfer from Oregon, um, but he, he had some pretty nice accolades uh, with Auburn. I believe, uh, I believe he was uh, second team all SEC um, from my recollection, but again, um, Still got to do more homework on him and get a better feel. Uh, but it wasn't just him, too. Um, those are just the guys that I talked to that had formals. Like I said, there's probably about three or four other informal meetings um, with other cornerbacks as well. But um, you had Chase Sr. of Chat Sports there. He spoke to Utah Safety Sione Vakai. Uh, who had a meeting with uh, the 49ers, a formal meeting, and Frank Gore was apparently sitting in on that. Um, Chase also spoke to Miami safety uh, Cameron uh, Kinchins. Um, oh, excuse me. That's an Eagles tweet. Strike that from the record. <laughs> I just re <laughs> that's That's an Eagles 
that's an Eagles tweet. I'm not even reading. Um, he, the 49ers also met with Wake Forest defensive back Malik Mustafa um, as well. So um, that's a cool option for the 49ers uh, if they're looking to add additional safety depth. Um, so the 49ers are clearly looking into secondary help, whether finding a starter to pair with Diamador Lenore and uh, Traverius Ward. Um, or depth or what what have you. It, it's crystal clear that the 49ers are going after defensive back. Um, I also talked to some tight ends. So there were tight ends too that uh, the 49ers, they had a formal meeting with tight end uh, Jaheim Bell out of Florida State, um, which is a pretty intriguing one because Jaheim Bell is a very athletic um he's like a hybrid tight end wide receiver almost like he's he's very he's very gifted um he's like a big slot that's how i'd i'd quantify him he said that he can you know do it as an inline blocker he could kick down do all those different types of things but clearly his his number one uh value comes as a pass catching tight end but i do find that interesting that the 49ers had a meeting with him. Um, there's a couple other un informal meetings that the 49ers had as well. But hey, man, the 49ers are doing their due diligence. Um, they're checking in on safeties. They're checking in on tight ends. Um, obviously, we checked in on a lot of defensive line yesterday as well. So the 49ers are absolutely uh, not going to just draft offensive line, um, just like some fans may want. Um, but as it stands, um, we're starting to see some trends. And I think the biggest trends are um, edge definitely is going to be in play. Cornerback is definitely going to be in play. And probably safety depth, tight end depth, um, who knows, you know, the 49ers drafted Cameron Latu and Braden Willis last year. Um, we know Latu didn't see the field. He had a basically red shirt season as he was placed on IR before the season and Braden Willis, uh, very sparingly used throughout the year. <clears throat> and we know Charlie Warner is a free agent. So it's basically George Kittle right now, Cameron Latu and Braden Willis. And something tells me that Kyle Shanahan doesn't feel ultra confident with that group. So he would, he would make some changes and potentially either draft some additional tight ends or go to free agency and try to find someone um, that may be, uh, you know, the, the Atlanta tight end that was just released. Um, maybe he becomes an option. You can go try to upgrade the tight end two spot, uh, maybe run more tight end two sets. I, we'll see, we'll see. I, I, I did come across a guy, um, very interesting as like a fullback option. Um, his name is Jack Westover uh, and he plays for, played for Washington. Um, he has experience as fullback, experience as a tight end um definitely has some juice vibes to him so interesting one uh to keep an eye on but so far 49ers they're working getting these interviews in uh so now today is over day two is over and we're going to be heading to the stadium and we're going to take in field drills defensive line hit the field um as well as another position at, I'm off three hours of sleep. Don't judge me, okay? Um, so we're going to go head over to Lucas Oil, watch drills. And then after that, I'll do a live and kind of talk about guys who stood out in the drills, kind of recap uh, some of these interviews as well. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.